minutes after the bell rings. Yeah. 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 While you follow the directions on the board, you may want to also open up your textbook and say you have six, seven. At least I have some time. Let's see, number 26 is approximately 9 square feet. 28, 33 square meters. 30, 16 square yards. 32 is 799.9 miles. 34 is 113 yards. 36 is 46 degrees 
west of north, so N 46 degrees W. 38 is 23.1 miles for A. And south 68 degrees east for B. 40. The guy wires inker downhill about 260.2 feet long. The one anchored uphill is 239.3 feet long. 42 is 42.6 feet from the pitcher's mound to third base. 44, the cost is $294,968. Then we'll do the auction here. Okay, who needs the check one? There you go. 34? What'd you have? What'd you have right before that? Okay, so we round 113.48 rounded to your chart would be 113, yes. Um, nope. No, they just want to know. They just ask you to round. Because very all 48 one hundredths is less than halfway to uh, 100. <coughs> Do what they ask you to do. Um, Carol's. So I'll be sitting there. Okay. Oh, there's the check. All right. Who needs me to do one? Rebecca? Um, number 32. Number 32? All right. Number 32, a plane leaves Airport A and travels 580 miles to Airport B on a bearing of. All right, so here's Airport A. This is straight north. And I have a bearing of 34 degrees east of north. So out here is B, and this is 34 degrees. So I got that from? Okay, and then that length. It's 580 miles. Okay. The plane later leaves Airport B and travels to Airport C 400 miles away at a bearing of 74 degrees east of south. So once again, my north south, 74 degrees then is going to be east of south. So somewhere out here is C, and this angle is 74 degrees. And that is 400 miles away. Find the distance from A to C to the nearest tenth of a mile. So I need this distance. So what angle do I need to find? B. Okay, well, I'll help you out here. If I continue this line up, then we know about this angle and this angle. Um, the same. They're the same, so they're all interior angles. So I have 34 in here. 34 and 74 is 116 degrees. Okay, can you finish it from there then, Rebecca? Or did you have that? What did you say that was? 116. I'm sorry, 108. Got to be able to add. Can you finish it from there then? Uh, probably. Okay. Okay, others? Okay, so the figure shows, okay, give me a second.
shows a 400 foot tower on the side of the hill that forms a seven degree angle uh, with the horizontal. So the hill is at seven degrees. Find the length of each of the two guy wires, that's these two wires. No, find the length of each two guy wires that are anchored 80 feet uphill and downhill from the tower's base and extended to the top of the tower, round to the nearest uh, tenth of a foot. Okay, so it's really kind of two separate problems. Um, if I look at this one, I don't like that they have this this 400. This is 400, this piece right here. Okay, so this part's kind of tricky. Um, so I've got a triangle here. This is the triangle I'm looking at. This is the triangle I'm looking at. This one. On this, I know this is 80, this is 400. What else do I know? On, not a 90 degree angle. What other angle do I know? Well, let's look at it this way. What if I drew in this horizontal line here? How far off a horizontal am I? Seven degrees, because this is seven, so this little piece here has to be seven, right? So what is this whole angle? 97. Okay, now can we find the wire? See where the 97 comes from, Rebecca? No. No? All right. Let me do this. Okay, if you look at this is the angle we're worried about. See how this line and this line are parallel? See how they're both being cut by that transversal? Okay. Well. Oh, did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. I'm just making a check. You were right. It's 83. Because here, it's 90. This little angle here has got to be 7 degrees then, right? Because this angle down here is 7 degrees, and those are alternate are consecutive angles. Corresponding angles. Okay. What well, doesn't look right? sense on the picture. Well, obviously this one's got to be less than 90, which means this one's got to be more than 90. But why? Because I put this on here. This was 90, that's 7, so that's got to be 83. No, no. No. That's 83. It's less than 90. Because here's the 90, and then this is cutting it off, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute, though. Here's the problem, though. We want to know it is 97, okay? Because it's 80 from here to here. So here's my 90 degree angle. There's my little 70, 70 degree angle. So it's 90, 83. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So you see where I'm getting 83 from then? Okay. Over here, 97. I did it again there. Okay, because it's 90 to the bottom. They should have drawn that line. Okay, over here, if I draw a parallel line, that's where you should draw the parallel line. This little angle's got to be 7, right? So this is 90 minus 7, it's 83. Then you can do it. Okay. 
finish it from there then. Everyone see what's what someone tell me why do I keep getting screwed up over here on the left? What did they draw in that's making it hard to see? Next. Yeah, this 90 degree line is in the right spot for my parallel lines. Because I want to go 90 degree off the bottom down here. That tells me that from here on, there's 90, then here's my other 7. That's where you're getting the 97. All right, others? Yeah. 41. 41. Did you actually finish that one? Finish it? Okay, well, the bottom's 80. Right? Oh. Is the bottom 80? Yeah, it worked out. So it yeah, because we're not looking at this triangle. We're looking at that triangle. That's where the 80 comes from. And that's why this is 96. So the bottom's 80. This is 400. Okay? And this is 97. So what are you going to use to find this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this would be x squared uh, would equal 80 squared plus 400 squared minus 2 times 80 times 400 times the cosine of 97 degrees. Whatever you get for that, then you think the square root has got x squared. So x ends up being, what's x ends up being there, Mariel? Uh, 470.1. Okay. Over here, it's going to be the exact same thing, but instead of 97 degrees, you're going to have 83 degrees. So it's just the same. Okay, so you needed 41. I did the wrong one? Yeah, I have to do it. It doesn't yeah. have to do with it. 41 does it? Yeah. That's not 40 in that picture. Well, wow. Let's just skip out here all together then. Yeah, it doesn't help very much, does it? But it's still looking for it. Okay, 41. A major league baseball diamond has four bases forming a square. All right. So we want something that looks. Like that, right? Uh, four bases forming a square whose sides measure 90 feet. So 90, 90, 90, 90. And the pitcher's mound is 62.5 feet from home plate. So somewhere out here. 60.5. This is 60.5 feet. Okay. And they want to know the dis uh, the distance, find the distance for the pitcher found to first base. So I need to find that distance. Okay, so now here's the trick. What angle is this on the bottom? So what angle is this one? Is it? So this one's 45 degrees. Now, how are we going to do this? Okay, that's a lot of sines then, a lot of cosines. Call this x, finish it from there then. Um, okay, so it'd be x squared equals 1. Um, 60.5 squared plus 
minus. Is it with the 62? No, it's 65, 60.5. Oh, you've got 60.5. No, you're seeing things. Okay, so that minus 2 times 60.5 times 90 times the cosine of 45 degrees. Get your answer, take the square root. What do we get? 63.7. Okay. So the trick to that one is you had to know that this goes straight down to there, so it bisects that angle. Alright, others. 40. Oh, now you want 40. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. You don't get the angles? Alright. Alright, so. 40 is that one. Is that 40? Okay, oh, this one's better because it doesn't have the line in the wrong place. Okay. So, all right, so like, if this is 200 feet tall, this is 150, right? Okay. If, the problem is this angle so small, but if I, I want a parallel line to this one, because that's what the 5 degrees is. Okay, if I go off a horizontal right here, this much of it, Really hard to see up here. Alright. From here to here is 90 degrees, because that's how we build things, right? Okay. Then this angle and down to this bottom part here, and this angle have to be how much? Because I said, look, you can't run. It's not that angle. Alright. Let's just draw, like, I'm going to draw really exaggerated, okay? Here's my angle of my hill. Okay. This is 5 degrees. Then I build my thing straight down, and then here is the other horizontal. This part has to be 90, but what do we know about this angle and this angle? Oh, they're the same. They're the same, so that's 5, so this one's got to be 95. On the other side, you're not adding the 5, you're taking the 5 away. So this one's got to be 85. Because you're taking the 5 away. Okay, because if I'm on the other side of the hill, and I draw my parallel in, here's my 90, here's my 5, so it's 5 less. Okay, do you understand where we got the 95 from? Okay. That means this one here has got to be 95, right? There's one on the other side of this thing, on the left side. Yeah. So the other one's got to be 85 because they got to add up to 180. Okay. It just depends on which side of the thing you're looking at. But since our triangle, our guide wire is on the right, we got to look at the other side. Okay. Any others? Then you can finish it. It's just long. You got 8, 150 by 200, and you got the 95. Okay. Right. So um, the angle on the right side right next to the tower, did you say was 85, or the one on the right? This one right here is 85 degrees. Okay. Get there. Thanks, How much does this get done? Uh, I doubt it because I only put the drawings that you actually finish them. 
Okay, others? Once, twice, three times, soul. Oh, wait, I got one more. Oh, okay, four three. Three. Oh, soul. All right. <laughs> four and three, a commercial piece of real estate is priced at $3.50 per square foot. Find the cost of the nearest dollar of a triangle measure 240 by 300 by 420. So, for some reason, these people are on a corner where we got a triangular lot. Okay? We've got 240 by 300 by 420. So, 240 by 300, what was it, 420? 420. Now they're selling it per square foot, so what do I got to find in this triangle? Number of square feet. Okay, so that'd be the area, right? Okay, here on formula says A equals the square root of S, and then S minus A, a little A, right? <coughs> times S minus B times S minus C, where S is equal to one half of the perimeter, which is A plus B plus C. So what is, so S is going to be one half of 300 plus 420 plus 240, which is what? 480. So to get the area, we're going to take area equals the square root of 480, and then it doesn't matter really what order we do this, 480 minus 300, 480 minus 420, and 480 minus 240. We've got all in our calculator, not 24, 240. And A ends up being, well, Exactly. Okay, so thirty-five thousand two hundred seventy-two point six five. Okay, that's how many. Oh, was it feet squared? What were we doing? Feet squared. We had. Okay, the front. This is forty-three. We're not done yet. Okay, that's the feet squared. The price is three dollars and fifty cent. Per feet squared. So how do I find the price of the whole thing? Okay. What? One two three four five four. Oh. <coughs> is that what it says the back of the book? So you just multiply these two. Okay. Any yeah, others, Rebecca? <laughs> Why do you have something to do with all the blank pieces of paper I see walking around? Okay, well, you guys have a test on Tuesday. Okay. Today I got a worksheet that's this kind of stuff, but there's no uh, no pictures, so you gotta figure it out on your own. Worksheet 583. Numbers 1 through 11. We're going to make this real simple on you guys today. Since every time, the last three times I've handed something out, giving you time to work, I got about half the class sitting around goofing off not doing any work. You guys aren't talking to each other. Okay? Hand this out, you do it. If you have a question, Come ask me or, or you have me come help you. Can't ask anybody anything because I can't trust you guys to keep do what you're supposed to do. I'll do it just like I do with the seventh grade.